The Cleveland Guardians hosting the Toronto Blue Jays, and the Blue Jays are minus 130 on the money line. Cleveland is plus 110. The over-under is six and a half runs. Toronto laying a run and a half are plus 140, meaning if you bet the Blue Jays that way, they have to win the game by two. Now, Cleveland getting a run and a half is minus 160, meaning if they win the game outright, you'd win. Or if they lose the game by one, you'd win. Now, Gausman was with the Giants last year. He didn't pitch against Cleveland. And Bieber did not pitch against Toronto last year, which is ironic. The Blue Jays are on a one-game losing streak. The Guardians are on a five-game winning streak. Head-to-head, -head, the home team's on a four-game winning streak. Toronto is 6-4. and four. The favorite laying a run and a half is 6-4. and four, And the over 6.5 is 6-4. and four. I'm going to go with the home team stat here. It's probably going to come back and backfire in my face. But Cleveland's on a hot streak, so let's roll with them. Cleveland with the money line. Cleveland getting the runs, especially because they're a home underdog. And I'm going to go over the six and a half. And I know looking at these pitchers' ERAs, you're probably going, why in the hell would you do that? Once the game goes into the bullpen, who knows what happens. So let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.